Welcome to another Learning Prose video. Today we're going to be talking about one of Alexander Hamilton's lesser known contributions to American history, and that's his plan at the Constitutional Convention of 1787. Now let's start with some key points about Hamilton's plan. The main one you have to know is that it was strongly nationalistic. Under his proposal, states would become little more than electoral districts and administrative regions. And that's because he modeled it after the British system, which he praised as the greatest system on earth. For example, it featured a bicameral legislature, where members in the lower house would serve three years, and where members in the upper house would serve for life. These resemble the House of Commons and the House of Lords in the British system, respectively. Additionally, the two houses would elect an executive, reminiscent of the monarchy, who would serve for life and have an absolute veto over legislation. Some powers of the legislature, under Hamilton's plan, would be the power to appoint state governors and the power to veto any state legislation. Certainly, these proposals reflect Hamilton's belief in a strong federal government. And absolutely, these are definitive of the firm divide between the strong proponents of strong and weak national government. Thank you.